My mother told the story when she was first getting into my father. They were having dinner at her house, and he happened to knock the glass of milk off the table, and he caught it before it hit the floor, and then impressed her. Sometimes I think about that, that I owe my existence to his fast reflexes. But it's a good image to hold in mind as you're meditating, practicing, observing the precepts, trying to stick with all the Buddhist teachings. You find yourself slipping. You may break a precept. Your meditation may be totally destroyed, breaking some mood that's come in. You want to catch yourself as quickly as you can, and don't just ride with the mistake. The Buddha's recommendation is that you recognize the mistake as a mistake, resolve not to repeat it, and then have lots of goodwill for yourself, goodwill for all beings. You remind yourself what goodwill for yourself and them means. But basically, you want to stick with the practice. You're doing this for the sake of your happiness. There's at times when it seems like the Buddha is a tough taskmaster, but he's doing it for your own good. If you really have goodwill for yourself, you can do your best not to slip. And if you catch yourself slipping, trying to re remedy the situation as fast as you can. Get back on board. Catch the glass of milk before it hits the floor. And if it does hit the floor, well, learn that the next time you don't want to do that, you'll be more careful around that. And if you keep doing it again and again and again, just remind yourself, okay, this is not a good pattern. But don't get so down in yourself that you quit. So down in yourself that you lose your encouragement. Remember the Buddha's style of teaching. He would instruct, urge, rouse, and encourage his listeners. Four verbs. One of them is basically giving the information. The other three are pep talks. You have to learn how to give yourself pep talks as you practice to keep you going when things are going well, and to get back on course when you've gotten off course. That way you learn how to manage your mind as best you can, and get better and better at managing it. Because after all, the, the practice is one where you have to train yourself. The Buddha gives instructions, the Johns give instructions, but you're the one who has to figure out how to follow them. And notice when you're falling off the path, when you're straying off into the jungle. Think about how to get yourself back. Other people have strayed before. And we've all been straying since who knows how long. But you ask, us, ask yourself, isn't it time to get more consistently on the path? In you know, John Lee's image, it's, there are two paths. There's the path to the end of suffering and the path to suffering. We jump back and forth between the two, and no, one, no wonder we don't get anywhere. So as soon as you find yourself veering off to the edge of the road, you get back on the road as quickly as you can and as effectively as you can. You're the one who has to know how to psych yourself up, how to be strict enough with yourself so you don't repeat the mistake, but encouraging enough so that you have the energy to stick with that determination.